Should I cop a ring? We've been through everything. You can't say you ain't popping. Dead at all other options. Went for kicks to ring shopping. This rock means that we rocking. I'm good though. We good though. They hating. They should though. We've been places they wishing they could go. No passport. Guess they keeping their hood though. Baby, no wasting our time. Baby, no dimming our shine. Good love is too hard to find. Guess that's why love could be blind. Uh oh, sounds like we got a phone call. Thank you for calling Never Tuck Your Town Radio. Who we got on the line? Yo, what's going on? It's Frey. Oh, what's going Frey, what's on? Good? What's good? What's goody? I'm chilling, man. You know, busy doing my thing out here in the city. I see. It's a lot of trucks, a lot of turkeys. You moving around, man. What's going on? Nino Brown. Nothing. 18,000 turkeys today, man. 18,000? That's a lot of turkeys. 18, That's crazy, bro. Bro, you like turkey claws. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, you know how to, yo, listen, we, you know, we brought a couple exotic cars out, you know, and nice. you, know, you know how that goes, man. Uh, a couple. I saw that whole That's block cool. lined with, with some exotics, man. That's not a couple. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. We got about like 50, 60 cars out here today. That's a couple. I hear that. I hear that. So tell me more about these turkeys, man. How's everything looking out there? How are the people responding? Oh, man, they loving it, man. You know, the streets is, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy right now. The give back is, is unbelievable. You know, we out here, you know, we had 20,000 turkeys. We 18,000 down right now. Mm. So, crazy. So, our, th- our thing is is, is is letting everybody eat. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's got to eat during this pandemic. Mm-hmm. So, you know, everybody don't realize. You know, a lot of people don't realize, you know, you got all these fancy cars, but these are all the people that donated and sponsored to make this happen, you That's know? Fine. So mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Here. Yeah, man. You know, we've been, I've been out here since 430 this morning. Wow. Ooh, wow. Talk that talk, boy. Talk that night. talk. Yo, so what's to we be... Went, what? we went, Go ahead. Yo, Fredo, what's Yo. to be expected later uh, today in Havistro, our hometown, by the way, Never Tuck Your Town Uh-oh. Radio? Uh-oh. So what's Yo. to be expected when we pull up later, man? I'm saying, you know, uh, we ain't going to bring none of the cars up there because, you know, um, just so we don't, like, make people feel uncomfortable, we did it in the city because a lot of guys are out here from the city. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But... We got big things in, 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 in Havistro today. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got, I think, 300 turkeys. Mm-hmm. Um, talk that talk. 5,000 pounds of produce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 5,000. I don't know, man. I don't know how many canned goods. I don't, I don't even mean, know. Over 500. I don't know. That's what, I, that's what I'm hearing, too. 500 or I'm more canned hearing, goods. I'm hearing, some, I'm hearing some good things, some good feedback from a lot of people, man. Mm-hmm. This is a good a look. A lot of people want to come. <laughs> A lot of people want to come. They want to show love and, and support the movement mm-hmm. that we got going on. And we ain't gonna let one of our one of our fallen soldiers let it is. die. That's say a his, fact. We gotta say his name, yo. Shout out to Boss Don. Oh, shout out to Rylan. Boss Don Rylan for starting the tradition. That's a fact. Um, you know, I went up to Tom Styles during y'all, you know, y'all tournament up, you know, behind Sansondale. Voh day. Voh day. Yep. Yeah, Voh day. And then I reached out to you know. To uh, Zakim, and then I reached out to Brad, mm-hmm. and we made this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Language, 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 language. Yo, yo, all right, it's all good. You, you know what? We gonna let you, we gonna let you slide because you donated so many turkeys. Matter of <laughs> fact, yo, I need, that, that's gonna cost you five pounds of produce to my, to my house. <laughs> yo, we got it, we got it. But my thing is, you know, um, let's give back. Let's, you know, let's have Rylan's legacy keep going. Mm-hmm. Let's get the, you know, let's get the community involved in this. Yep. And you know, all the guys that that that's been promoting and has been getting stuff. You know, I, I appreciate everything that everybody's doing, man. And you know what, our thing is like, let's give back to a community where we grew up. Word, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us, a lot of us, at the end of the day, we're on the other side. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know. I know what it is to be on Section 8. I know what it is to be on Wayfair growing up. Talk you know? about it. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, now that I have the opportunity, it's like, let's give back. Let's mm-hmm. give back to the community. Mm-hmm. Let's give back to the people that need it during this pandemic and everything. 
Merch. That's and shout fact. to the and shout to the guys that are really from the town, that are really the protectors of the streets, and you know, Straw really, town. That's a fact. And shout, shout to y'all to coming and being hands on deck and not making it something different. Listen, you know, it's about it, giving back to the people and giving back to our our community, the where we grew up. So shout to y'all. No, no, definitely. Shout out to all the guys that 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 are doing their thing out there, man, and 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 making it happen. You know, my thing is. Don't let nobody judge you, man. Just mm-hmm. keep doing what you got to do. No matter where we come from in life, at the end of the day, whether, you know, our background or whatever, don't let it reflect on what you're doing now and giving back. That's a fact. That's a great and, and, message, and man. I, even last night, I'm chopping it up with a guy like Corker. He don't got to be out there. He could just point fingers and have things you know, still moving, but nah, he's going to pull and, up. On himself, he woke up at four o'clock this morning to go get that yes. truck, go load that truck up, mm. and so shout out to a guy like Corker that, that sees Wakanda we giving back. Forever. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. <laughs> I see you up. out here, Wakanda forever. That's so you know, it's, it's crazy because uh, I hit up Corker this morning, mm-hmm. and I was like, he hit me up, and I was like, Yo, Corker, here's the address. He came, no ifs, ands, or buts. We mm-hmm. loaded the truck up, we chopped it up, we were talking. I said, Yo, man, this is one of the biggest things that we doing right now for mm-hmm. Rockland. That's a fact. You know, and, and we gotta keep this we gotta keep this going. Yes. Whether mm-hmm. for Thanksgiving, Christmas, like we gotta help these people, you know? So and, what you're saying and, and so, glad, so Fredo, what you're saying is going forward we got your we got your uh commitment to keep this going and we're gonna keep doing this event after event after event for our city is what you're saying, right? Yeah, definitely. Never, Never tuck your town, Never you heard it on radio. My my thing is, you know what? Let's give back, and it ain't going to stop just today. We're going to keep going, mm-hmm. and we're going to make this bigger and bigger because you know what? At the end of the day, this movement is a movement that needs to be done. Word. That's yeah. a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's people out there that are struggling, and you know what? As us, as men and women, we got to give back to the community if we have it, regardless That's a of whether skin race, whatever. We all stick together. Word, mm-hmm. word. I right, Fredo, so we're going to see you at four. Any shout-outs you want to give? What's going on? Nah, Talk to us. I appreciate you. I'm glad oh, that we had have, we have this opportunity and, 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 and bless you guys and, and thank you for everything that you guys are doing for the town. And I really appreciate it. You know, you guys stepping it up and helping me out and, and you know, getting the community involved. Because you know what? If it wasn't for you guys, I'd be out there dolo trying to do this by myself. So, Shout out to everybody that, you know, showing love and helping me and helping the organization Word. make this happen, man. Word, shout that's out a fact. Definitely. Boss Rylon, this is for you, my brother. That's a fact. Big right here. You Rylon. already know. Look yo, Fredo, now. so we're going to see you. We're going to see you at four, man. Don't yo. I'll be there at four o'clock, my brother. Yo, don't be pulling up with the designer stuff, too, man. I know how you do. Don't be pulling up with the designer. We're going to do that thing. All right. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna drive my car there. I'm gonna drive something else. All right, okay. I, was, I was just about to ask you, what should I pull up in? You know, but I'm, I'm gonna come nah. through with the dad wagon today. All right, Fredo. So we'll see you I at was, four, brother. I, I'm gonna keep it real. I'll see you guys at four. I appreciate the All right, man. I don't know what happened there. It went crazy, bro. All right. So, good. so we'll Thanks see you at four, man, Fredo. That's what it is. Man. All right, all right. So let's shift our attention Uh-oh. to our yeah. in the building guest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Representing the Central Jersey Sharks. Yes, I hear you. With the hoodie on, too. Came yeah. in ready. I see you out here. Came in. First of all, don't be coming over here wearing your shark gear flexing on us. You heard? You heard? Don't be coming over Uh-oh. here flexing the, on the us with your spice, shark gear. The spice I, I begins. To. I got to. This is my brand, baby. You got your brand. That's mm-hmm. fresh. Shout out to um, More Apparel. Okay, you okay, know, okay. I'll be on it. I'll be watching. Oh, I got, oh, 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 got to watch you, man. How you doing, Ralph, man? I, I'm doing great. You know, thanks for having me. Much, much love. You I, know. Definitely. Um, shout out to everybody who's you know out there being safe, isolated. Facts. You know, mm-hmm. you know. Right now we gotta just you know keep distance. Right now it's really you know I had to postpone one of my you know combines coming up in mm-hmm. November twenty eighth because you mm-hmm. know the people that were registering was were you know telling me that I gotta take my COVID test. I wasn't feeling well. This and it's just oh, no. you know I, I gotta you know I gotta protect my my brand too that's you know? a fact and i and gotta your, and your health definitely 
Yeah, health. That's Definitely. Right. Right. <laughs> you feel me? That's and before right. we get started, you wanna, we want to we want to give a fair warning to all our guests. Yes, yes. If you curse, you must donate. <laughs> I mean, you could donate if you want to, but we, we live on the radio. Yeah, so we, we keeping can. it family friendly. G rated. So I hope you got some uh, fives and singles on. You, you <laughs> <laughs> so uh, keep it clean. Uh, <laughs> which which part of New Jersey are you specifically representing, brother? Central Jersey, um, more like um, I live in Cerville currently right now. Okay. I just mm-hmm. moved out into an apartment there. Mm-hmm. Nice. So um, yeah, um, but we may, basically all my players come from Newark, um, okay. Linden. Some come from New York. You know, mm-hmm. the tri-state area. You okay. know, got players okay. trying out from Florida. You know, okay. taking flights mm. in for the combine. Mm. Talk that That's talk. Mm. Huh? Talk you know, that talk. Um, I, I provide big opportunities for my players. You know, I have it live stream for. TBL teams, uh, Donald Feliz. I was listening earlier yes. mentioned mm-hmm. the TBL. That's a high level league. Okay, mm-hmm. you know the ABA is a high level league too. But we we like to advance our guys to course. you know something. Yeah, something ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's up, man. That's, that's what's, what's up. up Bridging man. the gap from one league to the next. There's nothing yeah. wrong. That's what we did. You know, we got in contact. We had our All Star game together, and now look, a year later, we're on the radio talking about. You know, bridging more gaps and connecting more players, you know, yeah. giving people opportunities. So Definitely about the connections you make because, you know, look, you gave me this opportunity to come on and, you know, talk my stuff about my business, you know, on the air. And I really appreciate that. Appreciate you inviting me out to um, the showcase you guys have, which had um, exceptional talent. Absolutely. So, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. So is there anything – are you – when you have your tryouts, is there any specific type of player you're looking for, or are you just looking for the most talented? Good question. Well, definitely. Sorry, um, no, okay. Donald okay. did mention about character too. I dealt with a lot of attitude, and that's oh, something I, okay. I, I don't like, and that's a major problem with basketball right now is dealing with people's egos and stuff, and mm-hmm. everybody think. You know, they could drop 30 in a game, and it's not like that. Sometimes you got to take that full back seat. Exactly. That's Sometimes you got to take a charge. Yeah. Exactly. You know, sometimes you, you got to dive the on the player, ground. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes not everybody gets their defense. picture taken. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. You know, but certain people don't got that, you know, figure out. And that's going to be the, the downfall that holds a lot of good players. Good, I dealt with great players, mm. and some of them just don't have it stored in that's their head. Mm. And that's what's holding them back, you know, basically being hard-headed and, yeah. you know, letting their ego get too big. So that's, that's another true. that's another gem for the players out yes. there that's trying to get to that next level. Get your character sometimes, right, It's the man. character. The attitude sometimes matters more than the talent. That's a fact. You know? get, get yourself in a position that you are going to be coachable. Yes. Exactly. Please make oh, sure man. you are going to be coachable. That's a That gem. should be the first thing that you're working on. Like, Look in the mirror and ask yourself that. Are you coachable? Did you argue with your coach all every day this week? Then you're not coachable. Yep. So figure out how you could be coachable, and that's going to help you get to the next level. And I'm build, pretty and, sure. And to build on that, it goes way beyond basketball. That's everyday life. That's just life, business, period. Yeah, yeah, man. Relationships. Yep. If you're not, if you're not teachable, coachable yeah. and teachable, yeah. nobody wants to deal with you. That's, that's a, a fact. fact. Big gem. So, yo, Ralph, when 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 did your uh, love of basketball begin? Because I know you have to love the game in order for you to want to own your own team. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So. <laughs> that's a fact. Big so. shout out for you for being the owner. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's yeah. different type I, we gotta of talk. You know? that. We got to mention that. We got to mention that. You're the you owner, man. Yeah. Um. Well, it started um playing in you know college and going to different colleges and schools and stuff. I bounced around from mm-hmm. BMCC, then I went to okay. the County College of Morris, mm-hmm. and then you know I had an opportunity from my JUCO years to um go play in Felician University and stuff. But, okay. You know, mm-hmm. I wasn't involved in the you know classwork and stuff like that i was just too focused that ball at the time okay Mm -hmm. so you know after that i i dropped out of school Mm -hmm. and i went into um the semi-pro okay so i played i played for the aba i played for um the bronx holy flames my first rookie year okay Okay. nice and then the year after that i tried out for the um jersey jersey express who's still around okay and you know ever since that i just you know basically um just thought about it, and I was like, I I had offers to play overseas too. And, okay. 
you know, I, I just put in my head, like, you know, what is the long-term goal in this basketball stuff? Because, you know, mm -hmm. not everybody's going to make it to the NBA. Mm -hmm. You know, even though you may be as good at it's just not enough room. And people got to exactly. realize <laughs> that that it's is just a not fact. enough room for every yes. single great player that there to is. To get in there. There's only 400 and something spots. Yes. So. Uh, exactly. So, you know, I just thought about a long-term goal. So I thought about, you know, owning my own professional basketball team mm. and you know the first two years i played on it and hired a coach and my staff mm -hmm. to you know run that's everything fire. else and you know that's where i land i, I kind of basically made my own contract for yeah. myself yeah you know and this ain't just no short term four five eight year this is this could be for my whole life, life you yeah know? you know and i plan on doing much more you know right now i plan on um, putting in the works and opening up my own venue my own gym that's what's up and that's that could be major talk that know, talk that's major. a fact major so yeah. i'm yeah. definitely waiting to you know kind of the end of this pandemic and then afterwards you know i'm i'm going oh, for it wow. oh, yeah. oh yeah. not, the, the, not the foot I, stomp the, yeah. <laughs> not yeah. the foot stomp you know it's real <laughs> yeah i mean to have <laughs> your own team and then have your own venue that's huge when you for have real. your own venue you know you that control separates you. It changes. everything it changes yo so what does it look like Get it. So to all the young kids that want to, that dream of owning a basketball team one day, what does that process look like? How does how does mm, that work? Good question. I mean, I basically just saved my money and then just mm -hmm. you know I invested and mm -hmm. I basically you know that's working you know these minimum wage jobs and stuff. That's what I was doing before. You know me mm -hmm. saving up my funds and then I'm like I'm tired of working. You know getting paid. At the end of the stick, I don't want to get paid that, you know. You're worth exactly. more. Yeah, You're I'm worth definitely more. Definitely worth more. Yes. Everybody's worth more. Everybody That's a fact. deserves to get out of that bracket. Yes. That's and a fact. As long as you have an open mindset and you keep pushing and grinding, you know, something is going to be at the end of the tunnel. That's Consistent, a fact, brother. Consistency is Ooh. key. You know? Yes, guy, right you here. Do. Giving Yo, out you the jewels. The gems yes, today. Sir. Yo, He's Jersey in the building That's today. I see that. Okay. I thought it was only gum bars and all that Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find out, man. And they this is before you. your third round. You know, usually they save it for the third. Okay, Jersey. Yeah, man. See That's you. what's up, man. He's talking the venue talk. He's talking ownership. Like, that's us, V. Word, word. That's all of us. That's what we talk about, that's, man. That's what it's really about. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, for the Central Jersey Sharks. Right now, obviously, there's no basketball going on. I'm sure mm -hmm. you're looking forward to a 2021 opening as everyone else. Um, so when you're opening up, do you already have your roster in mind? Or is, this some, is there a, a longer process to getting your roster together? Well, right now, um, like I said, we went through like um, two combines so far. The third one got um, canceled December, mm -hmm. um, wait, November 28th. I'm a little Are high. you rescheduling? Yeah, um, November 28th, we're going to reschedule that, you know, because of the cases okay. spiking. Mm -hmm. So we want to be, you know, safe. So we looking to shoot another combine around December around the second week of December and see where okay. we're at there. Okay. You know, where where um, at? Is this open um, or do you have this, to be invited? This is, um, no, this is open. Whoever inquires, you could um, DM us at the Central Jersey Sharks Instagram page. Okay. Straight up Central Jersey Sharks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, yeah, you could DM us there, find out the registration info, and then that's how you basically get into my tryouts. We only hold about... We only have about 24 spots that, okay. you know, could sign up because okay. of COVID. So mm -hmm. we want to be safe mm -hmm. as well. So we, we can't have a tryout full of 100 players. Yeah, yeah. Not like before. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Oh, so, so this is like for the chosen few. Yeah. So do much. they should they send their resume to like send you like a um, or it's just. Well, it's whoever really, you know, pays for it. You know, it's 165. I put it at that bargain because I know a lot of people is definitely going to um, inquire about it. Mm -hmm. And. We have um, plenty of teams that's watching. We um, partnered with um, Ann Sports. That okay. was that was just here. Yeah, Don that Felice. was just here. Shout okay. out to Don Shout Felice and Sports. Yeah. You know, provides great opportunities for the players. Like I said, you got to make connections and yes. stuff like that that's in this fact. game. Yeah. So you know, me partnering up with Donald um, gives me. Um, more opportunities to help my players out mm -hmm. you know i'm not just in it for myself i want to see That's my players look. go somewhere talk that mm -hmm. talk you know? man talk so that talk definitely um this combine you know we have 
We had the Syracuse Stallions, um, a TBL team. Shout out to them shout for them. coming out to the first combine. Um, shout out pretty, to Lethal Weapon. Lethal David Weapon. Hay. Yeah. Yeah. He's a stallion, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yes, That's he a fact. is. Yes. And, and on the other side, of, uh, a girl I used to go to college with, shout out to Brooke. She handles, I think she does all the uh, the cheerleading stuff on that side. She oh. manages all that. So. Okay. For the Stallions? Yeah. For oh, the so stallions. All right, so the Stallions got to pull up. Yeah, yeah we're Stallions, <laughs> make sure y'all pull up. Come talk to us. Come talk to us. Word. That's a fact. I definitely... Um, hit them up and tell you you guys want I'm definitely sure they'd be interested in That's pulling up, up to the show. That's what's up. Good, good. So, to the um, show, checking out some more talent, all of that, man. My right. fault. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. And the Tri-State Admirals, you know, the GM came from there down mm-hmm. here to the um, first few combines and stuff. So it's oh. just been, you know, good getting the TBL support of teams and stuff. Because that's a really high level. They they pay their players real good and it's mm. very professional. The commissioner, David Magley, shout out to him. And you know, oh, we just you dropping names. Okay. My fault. David Magley and all that. Okay, <laughs> first and last names with it? He actually played for the NBA. Oh, oh that's okay. Dope. dope. Yeah, I was about to say, you might have to cha-ching you feel several that? times. You feel that? I got I to gotta catch up. You're talking about NBA money now, man. Yeah, David Magley actually went, played up. He, David Magley's old, by the way. He's like around, of course. let me not disrespect that. But um, he's like 50-something. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's an older guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. He played with Jordan. OG. Oh, he, okay. He gave Jordan buckets. You know, I okay. see he, he always oh, posting his clips on uh, on his IG and stuff. And okay. I'm looking, oh, you had 24 against Jordan. You know, I'm looking, sizing this old yeah. guy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, you know. You? You? <laughs> so, yeah. That's what's up, man. Dope. Well, I- tell, tell Mr. Magley. Pull up. We got that 35 and up for you. You uh-oh, heard? Uh-oh. We don't want to hear about your LeVar ball Story. stories oh, about what man. you did to Jordan back <laughs> in the day. Pull up. You heard? The spice <laughs> is right right now. Nah, shout out to you though, man. For yeah, real, for dope. getting to a level like that and even having the opportunity to give Jordan a bucket, that's, that's a, a big deal. You that's feel me? And while we're on that topic, shout out to Obi Toppin. My cousin yes. just got drafted. Oh, shout out to Obi. Man. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Eight, right. Eighth pick. In the hometown. That's a fact. Oh, man. I can't wait to touch that garden and see him on the oh, floor doing bro. his thing, man. But wait, didn't Jersey get a guy too? Brooklyn? Yeah, mm-hmm. didn't. No, I'm saying, didn't. Oh, uh, I mean, Shem- didn't. Uh, what do you call it? The Knicks. Didn't they get a guy from Jersey as well? Miles? Miles Powell. Miles Powell. He's, he's from Jersey? I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, so. oh, Miles Powell. That's a big look too. He's man. from Jersey. He's from Jersey. Yo, shout yeah. out to Miles, yo. Yeah, for yeah, real. Yo, nice New York City is about to be on fire again. I mean, it's already in Brooklyn. But now yeah. it's about to come back. To uh, the yeah. Country, you, feel I don't, you, know, you don't want to cross them waters, baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hot, baby. Uh-oh. 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 Listen, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Listen, I like hold that. Up. I ride with my guys. Yeah, uh-oh. Uh-oh. OB topping all day. We got Ain't it. nothing stopping that, OB that, topping. That's, that's oh, going to be nah. really, that's that's gonna gonna be really great. Gladiator? You oh, the gladiator. Not yet, but I heard the bars. Put it on. KD, pull up. Kyrie, pull up. Oh, no. Oh, yo, yo, Obi, Obi, he putting it on you, yo, yeah, Obi got to be on the court, why you doing this? And wait till these these Obi topping sneakers come out. Oh, Oh, man. Spicy. Oh, man, this guy is wilding today. Spicy. Yo, we got the food drive later, this guy got extra energy. (laughs) Yo, Obi, I apologize for you, Obi, because now if any of them here, they going to try to give you mad buckets because of this guy, Z. Because of Z, He's first round, he got that target on his back anyway, so Mm. get it. Fact. Let's mm. get it. Ride Let's with my guys. Yeah. I so, hear that. So, Rob, <laughs> how, how did you link up with Brett and uh, got the whole Central Jersey Sharks uh, to play with the uh, VOH uh, guys? Um, we definitely linked through. Um, who was it? Um, White. White. Yeah, oh, it was dope. White. Yeah, oh, shout okay. out to Crunch Time, man. Oh, shout out to Crunch Time that. Basketball. Oh man. Yeah, yeah man. We got we got to get them up. Yeah, here. definitely. White was in the shadows. Uh, you know, shout out to him. I hit him up. We was talking about doing the game, and then he let me know about Ralph. That's dope, and I, man. And then dope. he put the chat together, and we spoke about it. And that's dope. You know, it happened. That's dope. And he, Ralph made it happen. He came through. They did their thing. Unfortunately, that day they didn't win. So hopefully, we got to run that back. I know y'all not scared to run it back, oh, right? Definitely y'all scared not. Scared to run it back? <laughs> See, <laughs> you started <laughs> smiling <laughs> in the <laughs> ear. He's like, yeah, we could yeah, definitely. Yeah, I gotta happen. watch him. He probably got bad footage. <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing his homework. He said, "Yeah, I got him for him, him for him, him for him." Like, yeah. I mean, we came five players. You know, let's not, 
I'm, know, I'm not mad that, at that, but you know. but but <laughs> in in my defense, TTG 2018, they came through five players and made it all the way to the playoffs. Mm. So you know what I mean. I, yeah. I understand it, but you know when you show up, if you lace up, you gotta you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta ball out. And I and, take the L. and I'm not it. mad. I'm not taking anything from it. Yeah, I understand you lost. We you had a few. You didn't have enough players, but your boy Joe go crazy. Yeah, he's, oh, he's <laughs> yo, a problem. Your boy Joe go crazy. Shout out to him. He's Ball a problem, out, yeah, shout out to Joel Elder. Been here since the start. You mm, know, he's um, a problem. Exceptional man. player. He has some interest from the Tri-State Admirals. Nice. You know, um, actually, Eugene Campbell. Um, shout out to Eugene. Okay. He, he actually just got invited to a training camp there. Oh, so, shoot. Things I'm are really excited, you know. Yo, you are moving, been, bro. You're changing lives. You're creating opportunities, man. It must be a good feeling, man. That's the question I have. How important is it for you to see your guys get to the next level? I mean, just for somebody to get into another organization that mm -hmm. is even an inch better, or mm -hmm. you know, yeah, yeah. Or it 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 brings light to the team because if mm -hmm. you. If you a player, you want to see, you know, all right, where did this player go after the Sharks? Mm -hmm. You know, what did that person do for him? Mm -hmm. You know, that's certain things. Like, as I'm a player, that's what I'm looking for if I'm joining the team. I'm like, all right, where am I going to go next? Right. Right. What is he going to do mm -hmm. for me? Yeah. You know. That's dope. So you want to see dope. everybody win, and at the end of the day, they win, you win. You win. Exactly. Yeah, because everybody of your organization. organization. Yeah, that's You that's know, dope. if I could show that my players could go – you know, to the TBL from here to the NBA, that that's mm -hmm. great news. G, G League, yeah. you know, all that. You right. know, I'm trying to... Um, overseas. You overseas. never know, man. Anything. Anything from... I mean, from the things that you're building, it just seems like the level of connections you have is pretty much unlimited right now, man. You just got to get basketball back consistently. Yeah, that's that's the only like thing. all of us. Only you thing know? Missing, man, that's all we're all missing. Basketball. How crazy is this, man? All your plans are so yeah. ready to go, but the only thing missing... I mean, you know, the COVID actually gave me, like, time to really think and plan mm -hmm. ahead, you know. Like, mm -hmm. if you are an owner, you shouldn't just be sitting down That's because, you know, right now, people should be planning for 2021. You know, what you're going to mm -hmm. do, you know, that should already be mapped out. Yep. Word. So, you know, that's basically it. Like, I really, you know, just... During this COVID, you know, just thinking what what can I do better for the organization? Nonstop mm -hmm. DMing overseas teams to check out the combine, mm -hmm. you know, everything just pushing. You know, I mm -hmm. send out about a hundred messages, you know, even if I get five responses, that's that's, that's something, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's yeah. something yeah. I could work with and at least I know I'm trying. Mm -hmm. Word. That, Word. And that's what it comes down to, you know. Players want to see the the owner trying, you know, to make this organization go right. And hopefully, you know, they get them somewhere else. And they you know? appreciate it, too, man. I know they, they appreciate it. They definitely it. appreciate you, yeah. man. Because anybody creating opportunities, you have to appreciate. Yeah. You feel me? That's a fact. Definitely. Especially if you're changing lives with, with just basketball, doing something that they love doing. You know what I'm saying? So right now, do you have your eyes on a top prospect that you, like... Like you, you're hoping like this guy finally gets it right, so you could like pull him in, so he could finally win you this chip that you've been waiting for. Is, <laughs> is there a guy that's been slipping through your grasp that you you could name right now, or is it? Um, well, I seen a lot of players from the combine, and we had great talent. Nice. Um, shout out to James Stanback who showed out, really showed out, put in like 25 points each in each game. Mm. So sounds um, like a check to me. <laughs> and, and, and you got to realize in my combines, you playing back-to-back -back games. Oh, okay. okay. All right? So, you know. It's not no drills or anything. How, how, like how many? And it's only, it's only, you know, 20 to 24 people, like yeah. I said. Mm -hmm. so, so it's intense you know, every game. How I, many How many games do y'all run back-to-back? -back? We run only two. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only no two. But I be looking at them on the court, and they be, you know, you got to come in shape. You know, I know COVID. <laughs> I know COVID hit hard, but, you know, COVID, you, you could go jogging. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? That's a fact. Jog That's a fact. Yeah, you that's know, a fact. The quarantine legs, they yeah. been <laughs> they and quarantine legs, they've been a lot of chill. bread during quarantine. That's, <laughs> that's, that is, that's a fact. That's can't, you can't be off the couch with it, man. Nah, you can't. Especially not at that level. Not at that level, especially when you have other leagues watching you. Exactly. Especially Bro. if you're trying to change your life, you Bro. gotta be. You, you gotta chasing stay. a check, man. You know the next person is is up at it. Three a.m., four a.m., yeah, like getting they're, ready. They're making you know it I mean? happen. So just remember, if you ain't doing 
something at this point, somebody else is doing it. That's a it. fact. That's, That's a, fact. a fact. If you ain't grinding at 5 a.m., somebody else will do that grinding for you. That's you know, a like fact. like the last who who called Fredo or yeah, 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 yeah. getting up at 4 a.m. Yep. Trying to com- contribute to the community. Yep. That's, That's something. That's special. You know, we got to have more people like that out here. That's mm-hmm. a fact. Word. That's a Word. fact. I, but I feel like that's... I honestly feel like something like that is in you. It's like like uh, like a defensive player, you know? Like, mm-hmm. either you play defense or you don't. No, you don't. Like, there's right. no way you could force somebody to play defense. Like, mm-hmm. they'll, they'll make attempts. But you know, like that mm-hmm. dog, that, you, every, that you dog always meet you. a few of them. But there's just that one guy that is just like... Relentless. It don't matter who it is. He locking them up, yep. right? Fact. But he might not be able to get a thousand buckets. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He's not gonna average thirty a game. But you're always gonna pick this guy first because you know what he's gonna he bring gonna to the table. D. Yes. You yes, know what yes. I mean? Yeah. And that's the thing with people. Sometimes they don't understand like what their gift or their talent is, right? Mm-hmm. Not everybody is gonna be the thirty point a game guy. Yeah. Right? This it's just impossible. You gotta mm-hmm. come to terms with that. It's just yeah. not. It's not real. And then even when you get to the next level. Even if you're the 30-point-a-game guy at this level, when you get to the next level, it's not guaranteed you're going to be that guy. So if you can't figure out how to adjust and be coachable, you're going to be home. (laughs) Or, or, you know what? Don't worry. VOH Basketball will be here, (laughs) and you could could revamp (laughs) your resume. You could revamp your resume and try again. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not coachable and you're not willing to grind and sacrifice, yo, go get a job. Go get, you know? your, go get your go get your go get your VC up and get your my your, your my player up. <laughs> Actually, yeah, go get your VC up. We gonna holla at my man Bravo. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna get you right at Last Life Gaming, and Last you can be Life the virtual champion. That's a fact. You feel hey, me? It's money. It's Cause you taking it's up money. spots. It's only you said there's 24 spots. Yep. So yeah. imagine 24 spots, right? And 24 guys show up, and let's say there's six guys that aren't even taking this seriously. You mm-hmm. just you just ruined six guys' opportunity. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, and I'm, that's and that's the beginning of this. Because think about. I'm this. sorry to sound like that, but nah, it's but crazy. It's true. Like it's true. And that's only in. and it's that's true. only the beginning. Because think about it. Everybody that touches a ball when you're young, what you write? I want to get to the NBA. NBA. So millions of people are doing the same thing to get those to, to get locked into that 400 spots. And then whatever position you are, that 400 diminishes down to whatever how many. <laughs> So let's really think about this. Yeah, Dude. you gotta be. Think about it. You gotta be special, what, special, real. right? But you definitely gotta be coachable. Like real. adding on to what Z said, when it comes to certain positions, like the center and power forward is like <laughs> non-existent now, bro. It's For like real. you're a small forward, like and you could be a small forward at six eleven. Yeah, you know what I mean. KD, perfect we, uh, example. We refuse yeah. to make you a center. You're gonna be a you six gonna... eleven small forward, bro. Yeah. It's it's nuts now. <laughs> yeah. So but just to amazing. try to get into that tight fraternity called the NBA it's nuts so it's crazy you have to take advantage of every opportunity you have That's 100% man be serious just yes. like mm-hmm. be serious because I've seen players come to this combine they hear walking on the court like literally the last combine I really had to you know I at combines I don't really like to you know coach hard and mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. be hard but like he was really doing some stuff that like scratching my head like all right I snapped. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, what are you doing here? <laughs> like, are you here to play? Like, mm-hmm. pick your head up and play basketball. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're right. walking up and down the court, moping around oh, and no. stuff like that. Nah, and yeah. That's something I definitely don't want. Yeah, you know, that player's come... probably not going to be on the roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, come on. If you want to come to a combine, give it your all. Go yes. hard. Yes. You, know, you over here, you know, walking up and down the court. Yeah. Like, you, you better you, you better than me because I would have been like, yo, you. Yeah, you got to go. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah cuz there's there's other people here that want want the opportunity. I, mean, I was going to say that, but there everybody say I'd be tripping. But then, you it, comes, already then know. it goes back to the combine fee then, you know, then you mm-hmm. got to, you know, realize these these players play money for it, so they do yeah, serve, yeah, you know, yeah. they deserve uh, equal minutes. I give everybody equal minutes in the combine. Okay. You know, but Money can't buy everything. Yeah, you, I, I, I'll send you a little one sixty five back. Get off the court. Yeah, yeah like don't waste court. my I'll give time. You a, I'll give you a partial refund. <laughs> I'll, I'll give, give you a I'll partial give you refund. Half back. Yeah, since you got me in the sin. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you <laughs> half. I mean, you gotta be real. It's it's, it's real. crazy. We, like we were saying, like there's people out there struggling to make these. Just not even just the pros. Like the semi pros is a struggle. 
It's right. not easy to get right. into semi-pro. Any level. Like, any, any level. level. Any level. To get, to get like the, the league worst. that he's in, the ABA. It's not easy to get in there. Bro, to get in CYO. Yes. You feel me? Any level. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Any level. It's not easy. It's bro. not easy. To, it's get not a, to get into the worst Division three college out there. It's, you not, know? it's not easy. You it's still got to go through... The, the, the and politics and, and there's all that. And still going to be somebody there better than you. That's yes. <laughs> That's the yes. craziest thing about it. No matter how nice you are, there's still going to be somebody there that might be better than you. And that's when you finally realize who you are. Yep. Some people can't take that. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. people adjust. They make it happen for themselves, and they continue on, and they they flourish in their career in yeah. basketball. Mm-hmm. Some people they Just get crumbled. to that school. Oh, that kid's better than me. This, this, that. Now it's automatically a challenge. Now you're bouncing around school to school to school to school to school to school, to school and now we can't even keep up with your stories. Yep. And <laughs> your yeah. eligibility is ran mm-hmm. out and all yeah, that. And yeah. Then you waste the eligibility and that eligibility thing. Oh, <laughs> forget, we can't even get into that. That yeah. is a. So imagine you wasting your eligibility. Ability, dancing around going school to school because you're mad at other players yeah. instead of focusing on what you need to do Fact. to help Athletes. the team win you know you what I mean me? and the more the team wins the more you win because if you're not if your school's not winning nobody's coming to see you no anyway that's a fact that yo, is a fact I'm about to get tight bro <laughs> <laughs> like just my about bad this. yo I'm about to get tight this guy got me here all tight on a Sunday hey man <laughs> yo so Ralph who's your who's your guy like who's your your go-to one-on-one, you take them anywhere. Who's your guy? Last last second in the game, who who's your go-to guy right now? Right now, and, and why? What we talking about in in the NBA? All no, sport, oh no, or, not no, not no. New York. I mean, and why are they your go-to guy? Any? It better be Joe go crazy. <laughs> what are you thinking about? I've seen his highlights. This man's hitting threes and um, dancing before the ball go away. Get steal. Yeah, this dude is crazy. Yeah, he's I, nice. but, but my bad to jump in. But go ahead. Nah, if it's, it's somebody yeah, else, it's between you know Joe and Eugene. Eugene had a great, Ooh, uh, a great. Eugene season is like last, that. Eugene had a great season last year. Really great season. Um, he actually was leading the leading the team in scoring. Mm. Oh, that's you know, good. with twenty five points a game. Mm. 20, oh wow, wait, twenty five. Twenty five yeah. is not a you joke. Twenty five is real. I mean. Gene is somebody, Gene and Joe, both of them players right there, is mm-hmm. somebody that's in the gym, you know, mm-hmm. grinding. And, you know, shout out to them. They both going to have a bright future. You know, I promise that's you, dope. you're going to hear more from Joe and Eugene soon. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I see Joe in the park getting it in, um, putting up shots, doing drills, hooping. He's doing everything. Um, yeah, I gotta... all, all through COVID. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Stay ready. You never you have, have to get, get ready, ready man. Right. You know Facts. the rules, man. That's yep. a fact. Yep. That's so dope. All right, so anybody you want to give some shout outs before we break up out of here, brother? Um, I think I did about all the shout outs. Um, shout out everybody who's watching, family, friends. Okay, okay, okay. Any 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 dates on this rematch or what's going on? Oh, jeez. Uh, Already uh, trying to I line mean, it up. Line it up. <laughs> you got to. I mean, you may have to come to our home court oh, when we hey. open that venue. So good. Hey, hey. I mean, that, yo, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I mean, I mean <laughs> never tuck your town. You know how we giving it up. So we'll be there. We'll take the jet. You heard? Yes, <laughs> sir. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> All right, so. What's up? 241. Let's get into some music. Come back in a few. Wrap this up. Yep. Talk about uh, what we got going on at four. At four, yep. What you got going on for Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? What I got going on for Thanksgiving? I don't know. You tell me. I mean, I know I'm traveling. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Moving and grooving. Uh, hey, hey, hey. We'll talk about that when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get some music going. Uh, <laughs>